Hi, I wanted to do a video on a small CNC enclosure design. This is an 1100 enclosure that I built last year that has a lift design enclosure. Um, but recently I've been building another enclosure which is more compact, which um, is only 55 inches wide. And um, compare that with the standard um, Tormac 1100 enclosure which is 80 inches wide so you're talking from here out to a lot further 80 inches um, the 770 enclosure is uh, 61 inches wide so we're talking a 55 inch wide enclosure very compact and I had to develop quite a few little features to get around any inherent limitations in a small design enclosure and one of them is a flap that lifts on extreme left travel on the left hand side I'll just run that travel demonstration so usually you're within the enclosure but occasionally if you're doing an extreme left travel then the stepper motor portion can protrude out through the enclosure and this means that the machine can be closer to the wall and um, the whole enclosure can be smaller I've also got a removable panel on the right hand side that just slips out and allows the electrical cabinet door to open fully 180 degrees fully fully across and out so it allows full access um, I'll put the camera down in a minute and demonstrate some of those features okay so I've just put the camera on its tripod hi um, so now I can demonstrate how you can get access to the machine so you had sliding doors it's just for a normal rapid access but if you need full access for loading a vice or cleaning the machine then these side pieces hinge right out like so and if you need access to the electrical cabinet this piece removes like so and the electrical door can swing fully out. So you can access the electrical cabinet through here or through here. So you just got this little right angle remaining frame which provides the structural strength for the hinging door here. You might have noticed the design of the sliding doors. I'll see if I can demonstrate that. Instead of them running in a track that's a frame, this is the more conventional design. This design of sliding door is um, completely open at the top. And that's a good feature to have if you want access uh, for a manual tool change or changing speeds on the machine because there just isn't any rail or track across the top here. You can get really good access. Um, and also at the bottom there isn't a track. That's only a splash uh, plate. The, the sliding track is a draw slider built into the top of the door and I have a piece of flashing coming over it and around. So Swarf can't get up into that sliding mechanism there. So that's a, um, a feature that's useful if you need good access to the uh, head of the machine, and particularly what I wanted on the small machine. You can probably hear the rain on the roof. Anyway, um, well, one other thing I wanted to mention is that although it's a very small enclosure, it has got full um, capacity for a full six inch vise. Um, 
well it's traveling in the wrong direction now but it will accept a six inch Kurt vise coming fully out without contacting contacting the inside front doors.